as graduate students, um, funding is crucial. Uh, I, the nice thing of Mizu um, was that I was offered a full scholarship here, which guarantees me five years funding to support my PhD degree here. I never intended to go to grad school, but the professors and my experience in undergrad really prompted me to go to grad school at Mizzou because they really care about student learning and just the way that uh, several professors actually approached me to go to grad school and get involved with research. It was just a really cool experience. So I looked into environmental focused engineering programs um, and there were really a few around um, the country that were on the top of my list but it really came down to um, the department. My interest was in the program and then it was really solidified when I talked to uh, my future advisor. But one of the things I like um, about here is you know you're treated not really as a student but more as a colleague almost. You're very well respected and um, they know that you have something to bring to the table and um, that's one of the things that I really like about, about here and about Mizzou and um, my advisors have always been uh, very helpful along the way but also you know letting kind of me be independent and, and do you know what I need to do that will further myself but also further the program and further our research that we're all doing together. I love what I'm doing, I love the people I worked with. Um, studying abroad, especially in America, is something I would say difficult. Uh, when you first came to a new country, you, you don't know anybody here, uh, you don't speak the local language friendly. Um, Sometimes you feel awkward when, um, and, and you may think people will, um, people may laugh at you or make fun of you, but I never heard any, anybody did that to me. People in Mizu are so nice and they try their best to help you. The environmental engineering faculty are awesome. Um, I know they specialize in different areas and anytime I have a question in one of them or um, maybe don't really know what resources to go to, I've been able to reach out um, and they're happy to, to sit down and you know give me the information I'm looking for. Um, they're also, I don't know how they do everything they do, but like they really are amazing. Um, so many of the faculty members are active on boards, they're active in student groups, um, and I think they really try to make themselves available to students. So that's, that's what I appreciate most. A couple different uh, professors here in, in the transportation group in particular that all work together really well. They're almost a collective unit and um, you know when you ask one one thing you can ask uh, you know the rest of the professors and they'll all give you kind of a, a collective answer because they are all one team and that's one of the things you know as a student you're almost part of it you know we are one team in a way and you know when, when one student does well or one uh, project does well, it ultimately reflects kind of the whole group and you know, when, when one does well, everybody does well. It's kind of cool to see the way that the, the research is very different, but everyone is doing research. Um, and that's really valuable, I think, if somebody's going to grad school to get into uh, research or academia, it's valuable because there's a lot of testing methods that you don't learn in undergrad as a civil engineer that people are willing to teach you more hands-on. Um, it's, it's a really good program, I think, specifically because of the faculty and their expertise and the way that they're just very knowledgeable, which I think you'll find everywhere, but I really appreciate it at Mizzou because of professors' willingness to take a pride hit and just say, well, I don't know, but this professor might.